Hello and welcome to our new module. And what we want to work on during this module is further refining the topic that you want to explore in your action research project. Because what we're going to do um, after this week, and actually it might take two weeks, depending on um, when everybody can get signed up, but I'll get into that in just a moment. You will have a question narrowed down that you can focus on during the rest of this semester. And then starting in the next module, we'll start reviewing literature and, and start the process of putting your study together so that we can um, collect the data and analyze it and do all the process here in these little short weeks. And don't worry, because we're going to be able to get it done. Like I said, we're going to do it in pieces at a time. So that's why I want to focus for this module on further refining your topic. And we're going to do that by setting up a time to actually meet live with me. So when you go through, there's, uh, I want you to read a section of your textbook, chapter three. You're not reading all of the chapter this week, just a um, section of the chapter that deals with topic refinement. After you've read that, then there is a page called Tools for Topic Refinement. And on that page, you'll see some directions. And you'll need to work with your group, your learning team, to decide who's going to do which piece of that, what's on that page. So once you've decided who's going to do what's on that page, complete that and share what you need to share. The directions are all there. Then you'll move on to the second challenge in the class that I'm calling it. I don't know, I just decided to call them challenges instead of assignments, but your second challenge, and that is to sign up for a time with me, and there's a schedule that has open times available for the next two weeks, starting Thursday the 10th, I believe it's the 10th, yes, yeah, starting Thursday the 10th, and we'll meet for, I've set aside about 45 minutes, an hour to 45 minutes, it might take that long. It might not take that long. It just depends on what all we need to talk through. And we'll spend some time just talking about the ideas that you shared on the collaboration page during the last module with your teammates. And you kind of went back and forth and well, here's my ideas and here's my ideas. Oh, well, now maybe I have this idea because I saw your idea kind of thing. And so we're going to look at the, the, the ideas that you shared and we're going to say, okay, which of those do I want to focus on and how do I want to take that idea and further refine it so that it's not this big, huge, overwhelming task that I think there's no way that I can do during this short time frame. Because we don't have to do huge. What this class and what we're, what we're doing in this class is teaching you the process so that in the future, perhaps, if your school decides to study, or you decide you want to study something bigger and broader that might take a longer period of time, you'll know how. So we need to take the topics that you've looked at and let's, let's bring them down into something that's really manageable. And with that in mind, I've also asked you to focus on diversity. I know I wrote in there, you know, minority students. And when you think minority students, our brains automatically go to ethnicity. And I mean, that's common. That's not wrong. However, there's all, there's, there's different types of minority in all our schools. And when I, I sent a message this weekend, it said, you know, you might even think of, maybe you have a lopsided population of boys and girls. So what are you doing to help either of those populations? Maybe it is ethnicity and maybe you have a very few students for, maybe just a handful how are they being, what, what disservice is happening to them because there are so few? Maybe you've got um, a big population of students that have been diagnosed with ADHD. So don't just think of um, minority as ethnicity. Open, open your mind and think, okay, there's more to this than just are they black, white, Hispanic, Pan-Asian, Pan whatever. 
It's, it's more than that. Those are critical. And you might that might be something that you need to look at within your school. I saw some discussion about ESOL students. That's a very real challenge in a lot of schools. So don't, you know, don't overlook that either. But don't think, oh, since my school doesn't have it, how can I do this project? You can do this. Remember, it's about looking at um, an instructional strategy that you might be using or an instructional program that your school is using or looking at your curriculum or looking at attendance, discipline. What's, what's, that, what's that thing that you go, I, I wonder if that's doing anything. Or I wonder why we chose to do this process. Or I wonder why that's our policy. Or does that policy do what it's supposed to kind of thing. And I also said, you know, we're thinking about the long, I kind of set it in a scenario of this long, this fictional school district. And that's just kind of to keep, excuse me, for us to keep in, um, in focus that, you know, what we're doing is, is has a greater purpose. Now, the superintendent said, I've discovered that our minority students are struggling to graduate. What can we do to change that trend? Well, you know, changing that trend can start as early as preschool. So, so don't also think that since I'm working with um, helping graduation rates that I have to focus on a high school of some kind. And I don't teach high school, so how am I going to do that? No, because they can start as early as preschool, kindergarten, first grade. The things we do at those stages impact every step of the way after that. So... It's all really broader than you think it is. It's just set and set in a way that I wanted to kind of tighten our focus because I think that we don't explore diversity enough. And I think sometimes we forget that everything we do, no matter what level we're at, is going to have an impact further down the road. So, as you work this week, you're, you have really one task, and that is to explore a little more about how to refine a topic. What is a, what is a really good refined topic look like, and how can I choose a topic and then just break it down into the nitty gritty so I've got a good question to explore for the rest of my study. So I look forward to talking with you. I will be talking with you in person during the next two weeks. So have a great one. And if you need absolutely anything, you know where to find me.